All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. Uh, I am your host, Larry, and we are back for some more Moonlighter here today. Uh, what were we doing the last time? I purchased a bargain bin. I have a bunch of tish on the table that I'd like to sell. Uh, what else do I have that I ought to probably be junking? So when we last left off, I murdered the Golem King. I should mention that a lot of this has changed, so we might have to go back and kill the Golem King again, because there's some new mini-bosses inside of each of the dungeons. But we killed the, the Golem King, and now we're moving on to, I believe, the Forest Temple. And we have a few items that I probably want to sell before we go through and do that. So what is relatively useless? I believe plant flesh is useless, and if not, we'll probably be able to get more. Gold runes, I know, are useless. Preserved root is useful, same with fabric. These crystallized energy cores and golem cores can go. Glass lenses aren't used for anything. Venom jelly, I believe, is used for the next level of healing potion. Ancient pots are a pile of tish. And is there a button to sort everything? Oh, there's like two pages to this big chest. I didn't realize there was more to be had. Okay. Well, you know. So what else we got? Magnetite's useful. Wood is useful. I think most of the rest of that's useful. Let me just sort everything. We don't really need golem volumes for anything. Or water lamps or these other runes. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff to sell today. Crystal rocks are junk. White stone? I think that's junk. This is useful. These are sticks. I'm not gonna keep those. Vines are junk. Alright, we got a few things that I want to sell. That's great. We'll throw those in there. And then, what do I know is relatively junky? I don't need this, or this, or this, or these. Or... I don't know this. Yeah, that'll be good. Let's open up the shop. There are bargain prices for everything. So what's changed in the game? Well, they've added some new units and some new behaviors since we last played together. They've added dungeon mini-bosses on every level. So that you're not just, like, going through without being, uh accosted by something. You gotta prove that you're ready. And honestly, those mini-bosses pose a pretty decent challenge to see whether or not you're ready for the next leg of the adventure. Inside the shop, I know that they've added some things, including people that will try to steal your shit. Which I'm not a great fan of, but it's just kind of the reality that we live in, in this day and age. I, I honestly, I blame the schools, but maybe that's just me. So, we're going to sell a few things. Maybe I'll upgrade some stuff if that's possible with some enchantment, because I've got a boatload of cash. And then we will progress into the next dungeon. So what do we got? They like the price on those giant golem orbs. That's great. I love to see that. I don't know if they ever made supply and demand a meaningful part of this game yet. There was always an issue in this game where they try to like tell you that there's like a low price to get rid of it, or there's like a price where you have too much of it out there, but that never really seemed to bother anybody to the extent where it was meaningful. So I don't know if they're ever going to change that particular thing. I got a couple people in here looking for weapons. I don't really cater to weapons yet. They're really expensive, and I don't really get a great return on investment for spending the time. So I'll be honest, I'd rather just sell the dungeon materials. There really doesn't seem to be a terrible point to the rest of it to me. So, um, have, have I sold everything? Is that... I could sell those, and that, and that. Yeah, that'll about cover it. Let's put... Let's put these runes in the bargain bin just so I can make some space for the new stuff that's gonna be coming in. Gonna get some new stock. I'm also wondering if there's going to be a lot of reason to go back to previous dungeons or not. Sometimes there is. 
it depending on the game that you're playing. I'm not really sure, but I'm looking forward to checking out the new dungeon, especially in light that they changed quite a few things, including several things I'm sure that I haven't even covered yet. So there you have it. So, uh, yeah. Looks like the shop's about to close, so last chance, everybody. All right, well, that's it for now. We made a great round of money. We even started getting the town high on magic mushrooms. I approve. It's great. 10 out of 10 material. Uh, let's just exit since it's nighttime, which means it's ample time to go maul the environment. And... Let's see if we've got some new upgrades here. Looks like if we get more plant leaves, I'll be ready to upgrade my headpiece that I built previously. What am I... what am I wearing right now? I'm wearing... Fabric stuff and an iron helmet. Fabric stuff, if I recall, gives me a bonus to health without greatly reducing my speed, per se. It does a little bit, a little bit. So this is, what is this? This is fabric and that's steel. So fabric doesn't give nearly as much health bonus, but it sure gives a bonus to not being slower than shit. So we're going to pursue that line of inquiry to continue to upgrade my swag. It looks like we're missing a few things to do meaningful upgrades though here, so we won't worry about that. What is my attack? Oh, you can talk to random people now. Redmond, I'm hearing people say you defeated the Golem King, Will. You, a merchant, not a hero. These are interesting times indeed. Well, what a dick. What, I'm a hero in my own right. I, I rob from the psychotic dungeon denizens and I use it to make money. And sometimes I give to needy business ventures so that they too can join the fray and make money in this town. Like, uh, I could right now almost buy the new banker. Or I could conceivably buy the hawker. Oh, okay, so those aren't available yet because I'm not popular enough. Okay, fine game, you didn't have to tell it everybody. Oh, they changed the design of this lady. Oh, no, they didn't. It's just bugged out and invisible right now. I was about to say, did they take away the potion seller's house? And the answer is no. It's just invisible. So what kind of potions can I make? I'm almost ready to build this next style of potion. But I don't... What does it take? This requires just regular slime matter, right? And this requires slime matter and uh, venom. Okay, I mean, we don't have a lot of venom slime yet, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Did I ever enchant my stuff? That's a question for the ages. Kinda, I think. How do I look at the stats for these? They're plus whatever. Let's try and enchant stuff before we go into the old Duncan Dungeroo. Yeah, I'd love to enchant my helmet to keep me alive. That would be nice, yes. And then what the heck, let's enchant my Stabadoo. And then I guess I can't enchant any more of my armor, so I did in fact enchant all of that. And uh, I'll just sell those golem cores that are left in my, those power energy crystal things. What is going on? Okay. Something is causing my game to physically melt in the most bizarre way. Okay. So, I appear to have bugged the game out in a significant way, but we will we will not be paying attention to that. Hopefully that doesn't follow us into the dungeon. Otherwise, this playthrough today might be a tad shorter than I originally anticipated. So I have two sets of weapons at my disposal. I have these punching gauntlets, which have previously been my favorite, but the more I've been playing the game on other people's saves, uh, the more I've been enjoying the ability to block because it kind of nixes out a whole host of problems that I have staying alive in the game. Who would have thunk it? 
How do I roll? Um, is that... Oh, it's that button. Okay. So I've got some more goodies. The ground is literally poisonous, however, so that sucks. And then we've got to deal with these spicy mamajamas. Alright, well, it could be worse. We've got plenty of healing majiggers, so I'm not too crazy worried about that either. Ah, oh, this place is already starting to be kind of obnoxious. Especially because I haven't played this in so long. So what does this say? Uh, this, this appears to say, Larry, you have frozen the game by attempting to read. What are you, some type of book nerd? Uh, we have yet to discover the perpetrator who, as of a year ago, destroyed several of our experiments. Now much of our research materials are disappearing on a daily basis. Okay, let's start that over. Okay, somebody's been having their stuff stolen. I've got that part. Uh, how many healing potions have I got left? Let's get some on board. Uh, so the other thing that happens is you can't use these healing potions indefinitely anymore. Eventually they get filthy dirty and they stop healing you, which I thought was an interesting change. Because it was super duper easy previously to exploit that and basically never have to spend money on your own healing ever again. So, you know. What do we get in here? We've got some logs and some fertile soil, which might be valuable. A lot of this stuff is really only valuable to sell. Not all of it is usually valuable for things like crafting. So it's it's worth keeping that sort of thing in mind. So let's see. Oh, hi, you're a tree boss. And, oh, you shoot stuff. You literally shoot fruit at me. Ow. Ow. Okay, you can't block everything, it would appear. So there's that. And this thing really, really hurts. Alright, so it tries to smash you with a root. Looks like your best bet with this mini-boss is to literally just maul the shit out of it and not worry about it. Frankly. Okay, so that's like immediately back to the next level in the game- in this dungeon. But I'm still trying to get used to this new one, so I'm gonna go ahead and kill more things in it. Just to get some practice going. So that that way I have all the materials that might be useful from the upper floors and can actually upgrade stuff before I try to face like the boss or anything. So what does this say? There has been a recent discovery that will change the game as we know it. These curious pendants have been uncovered inside the dungeon. I just recently found one myself. It's quite a fascinating piece. Instead of fainting and losing most of your items in escaping the dungeon, one may actually insert gold into this pendant. The result is a portal transporting you back to town. No longer must one risk life and limb in these dungeons. Some of the more burly adventurers, or heroes as they like to be called, seem to frown upon the use of these pendants. I mean, yeah. What's the point if you don't get a scar, am I right? Okay, so they're actually gonna delve into the where, what, and why of the fact that we have these pendants that are like a free get out of jail card, which is kind of handy. I was certainly not expecting that. I was kind of expecting the more tongue-in-cheek approach. Ow. Okay, these things fart spores at you. Good to know. So this next piece that I'm going to go investigate anyway because I have no sense of self-preservation. Uh, this is a portal, and these portals are kind of like a preview into the next dungeon beyond this, which I believe is actually a desert of sorts. And this it, it's all very fire and lava based, it would appear. So, you know. I'm gonna try and not let them regurgitate crap all over me. I feel like that's the best course of action. Unfortunately, I'm also letting them regurgitate where I need to walk, which really, really sucks. 
So I'm going to try not to get burned to death. And we'll go from there. Okay, so it kind of staggers them when I do that. That's kind of neat. They did kind of beat me up a little bit, so it's a good thing I brought spare potion. Although I have been wasting an ample supply of said potions, so, you know. Good news is, with the regular plant enemies in here, I'm not really hurting so much for damage being taken. So I can pretty much just wantonly homicide all of them and not worry about it too bad. So I got kind of some preview items and gear for the next leg, which is always good. What am I looking like on uh, materials? Let's just put this into the magic gold mirror. Dumpster Tron. And then we might... I might not worry too terribly much about doing too much of the next area. But I could. I certainly could. Because this has been a pretty easy starter... Um like, dungeon level so far, where the worst that it's had has been a couple of poisonous slimes and a poison trail. The dungeon mini-boss kind of beat me up, but that's more just I don't know how it behaves. And they've changed a few of the mechanics around blocking, where it hasn't become as much of an easy out as it used to be. But that's understandable, that kind of thing happens all the time as they change and update the game to give it some depth, so to speak. Oh, this guy drops like tar and stuff. I don't really want to mess with that, to be honest. You can just go die. Um... There's also the occasional thing hiding at the bottom of these fall-offs, but I forget off the top of my head what that looks like if I wanted to identify it. Good news is, I'm not trying to min-max this particular adventure, so... I'm just not really gonna worry about it. Although what I might do is I might go back into the other dungeon to go get some more stuff to make potions, because I, I am wasting a fair number of them. And that's not usually a great thing, but you know. So what do we got? What do I win? I win a snail. Forest dungeon, rank two. And these things look spicy. Oh, you know what? I bet those tar zones heal the plant en enemies. I'll bet that's exactly what they do. And I'm also glad that, that that this weapon I've got, maybe it's not the weapon, uh, actually dazes these enemies so that they can stop attacking for a moment and I get like a free hit in or two. That's kind of handy, actually. So what do we got? We got mystery junk. Oh, how unfortunate that this stuff looks cool, but I don't really have room for it. Hmm. So what do I know is rel- oh, this could be stacked very easily. What do I know is relatively junky? Uh, I know these plant leaves aren't really used for anything, so I can dump those. I am going to go back with this first haul, though, just because I would like to keep my swag. You know, there's lots of time for us to go deeper into this dungeon. I'm just getting back into the swing of this, having had a break from playing a lot of uh, Moonlighter for well over a uh, couple of months, so yeah. I'm just gonna take my time and not rush anything. This is definitely not a game where you have to rush stuff. And uh, see where we go from there. So what was my mystery stuff? We have Life Fluid, Magnetite, which is great, Diamagnetic Sand. That's quite a mouthful. Alright. But before I screw around with that, I'd like to invest heavily in my shop. So we have a cheap sale box already. Uh, we could get an iron cash register. Okay, we could throw that in there. Why not? Oh, did I already buy that? Oh, I see. Oh, we could do, like, a comfy bed as well. 
I don't know that I need that, however. So what have we got? We could have an average sale box. I could just flat out upgrade my shop soon, couldn't I? Okay, so I can upgrade my store so that it is slightly more suave. Hey, why not? I, I'm all about making a posh, well up-to-date business. And the handyman says, that's what you call a good job. Oh, oh, it doesn't seem like a big change. Well, beauty comes from within, my friend. All right, I mean, that's that's fair, it's fair. So now we've got a sale box and we've got a new and improved. What is this show? Oh, I can put decorations down, I see. Uh, I've also got a new and improved set of tables. So I've got double the tables for double mint gum. And then items are not stored in the notebook when their popularity is not neutral or value comes. Okay. I mean, that's, that's, that's all well and good, I suppose. I don't really have other stuff to place down as decorations yet, but this, this place is definitely looking far more posh. And since it's still relatively daytime, I'm going to continue to upgrade certain things. Okay, I can reduce the amount of discount people get on certain things if I wanted to. I could also increase the tips that people give me, which would pay for itself over time, I suppose. But I think that's probably enough for right now. Let's go ahead and figure out what stuff is worth. So that stuff I know is worth 50 a pop. I know that life water is relatively useless commodity. What about nutritive water? Let's go to the wiki that I got up. Nutritive water. And nutritive water, I'm just using the wiki. I'm not really all that interested in trying to slowly figure out how much this stuff is worth. So nutritive water is not used to craft anything and it's worth about 1400 bucks. So we'll go ahead and slap that in there. Oh, it's actually worth a lot more than that. But I don't want to oversaturate my prices, so we'll do that. Uh, this table's full. Wait, did I not price? Oh, I didn't price the... the crystal rock. That's why I didn't sell. Moonlighter crystal rock. And how much is a crystal rock usually worth? About 80 bucks. Okay, that's that's fair. Just because I don't want to hang on to these terribly long, let's just pump these in for like 75 bucks. And that'll be a nice price. Let's see, fertile soil. Moonlighter fertile soil. It's interesting to me that the wiki search for a lot of these wiki sites that people use are absolutely awful and they don't find basically anything. Not used to craft anything, it's worth about 1100. So let's just put these in here for 1100. Both of them. And then, how about ancient wood? I'm not entirely convinced that ancient wood is that valuable. Ancient wood. I forgot to put in Moonlighter, so I got a company that tries to sell me ancient wood carved furniture. This is used in like everything, so I will not be selling ancient wood. How about pure acid? Not like partial acid, not like sort of moldy acid or left on the shelf acid, but pure acid. So pure acid is used to make poison stuff. You know what? I might like to play with that. Let's just leave that alone for right now. Uh, what else do I have? I've also got... I know magic mushrooms sell for dollars. Magnetite, I believe, is used for magnetic core. Moonlighter magnetic core. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Um, these are not used to craft anything. They are valued at about 200 bucks. So we'll just throw that in there at 200. And then I... Do we have stuff I kind of want to just pitch? Some of this could be just valuable, so I'm going to say no. 
Petals can go. Those aren't really used for jack shit. And we will open the store. Everybody come in here. I'm gonna have to stand right here and watch the shop front though. Because now that we have a larger shop, I believe we can now start getting people trying to steal my stuff. Okay. This guy doesn't look shifty, nor does this guy. I think that's actually a woman. That guy wants weapons. I don't really sell weapons, so... Yeah, that's where we're at. I've... You know, I've never actually sat here and waited to see if somebody gets pissed off if I don't ring them up at the register. Uh, to see what happens when that goes. Like, do I have to put the item back? Or do they wait? Do I... Do they just sit here getting pissed off and don't want to pay as much? These are the questions. So what else we got? We've got a lot of adventures. They look like they're straight out of an anime, so... I guess that's good. We got a really good reputation going. So far, I haven't seen any sneak thieves, which is always a good sign. Mostly just a lot of random academic types. So let's see what else is. Is diametrics, diamagnetic sand a thing? Moonlighter, diamagnetic... Oh, it's already, like, pre-thrown in there when I start saying diamag... words. So this isn't used to craft anything. It's worth about 400 bucks, so we'll just go ahead and sell that. Part of the trick to this game is just a lot of inventory management where you're trying to figure out the value of things so that you can decide, like, am I keeping this cheap trash because I need it or I want to just sell something because I got an empty slot or I want to sell this two grand book that I know the value of. So magic wood. I've got magic wood. I mean, what? Uh, let's see here. Moonlighter. Magic wood! This is probably used, if it's used for anything, to, yeah, it's used to make, like, special, resistive, higher-level, uh, weaponry and armor. So I'll be keeping that. What about fertilizer? Moonlighter fertilizer. So fertilizer is just worth about a grand. So we'll just throw it in for a grand. How's that, does that sound? Peachy keen? I'm gonna go with peachy keen. And the nice thing is, like, once you've sold something at least once, they mark it down so you don't have to, like, do it again. And I'm wondering if they changed the sneak thief appearance. I think that woman's looking for armor. I think that's what Top Hat stuff stands for. Maybe? I, I don't really know. Um, that guy is 100% a burglar, and I will beat the shit out of him. There's only one thing left to buy in here, so I'm just gonna sit here. Either someone will take it, and he won't have anything to steal, or he's gonna make a break for it with this magic wood. You gonna touch, you gonna touch my magic wood, Billy? You gonna, you gonna try to touch my magic wood? There we go. So basically what happens is I roll into him, and he tries to run off with it. Um, so, did I get my magic wood back? I did. So I'll put that back. Hey, at least they tell you that he's gonna steal stuff. When we were playing this before, uh, off-screen, they'd just grab it and run, and you'd have to pay attention, which we did, and caught it. So that's good. It's good. It's good times. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Does anybody want to buy my magic wood? T touch it with your hands. In front of everyone, play with the little no? I mean, it's magic. That's what like Craigslist hookup ad said. Because this kid is lonely. No? Okay. I might just shut the shop if you're not- Oh, I didn't put a price on it. That's probably why no one's buying it. Okay. Oh, I said I wasn't going to sell this because uh, I was going to keep it. Okay, well, that makes sense. Then I'm just going to dump all the rest of this into here. Oh, I didn't check forest fruits. What about forest fruits? Moonlighter... Forest fruits. Yeah, these are about a grand piece, so let's go ahead and sell the forest fruit. Crap! 
All right, well, I'll still put this... We made like 24 grand in a day, so that's pretty great. Uh, forest fruits are really valuable, as it happens. Cool. Uh, everything else is going in the chest and just kind of getting dumped. Man, I really need to make potions, though, like better potions. Oh, I've got like a bunch of spare storage now. But I don't really need to use all of it at the same time, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna consolidate a touch into one chest for the moment. For the sake of sanity. And I'll hit the, the... The little joystick on the left to sort everything. And I feel like for right now it's gonna be the end of this episode, everybody. I've been your host, Larry. This has been another look at Moonlighter. I'm going to continue the next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know if you have any cool tips on stuff that might be interesting to go hunt for in this game. And I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody.